understanding the anatomical aspects of uh, jugular venous pulse is extremely important to properly appreciate the observations on jugular venous pulse in the bedside. You can see two diagrams. The picture on the right shows you the deeper findings you expect below the skin in the lateral part of the neck. Let's first identify few important landmarks before uh, explaining how it is actually seen clinically. Now first let's identify the two heads of the muscle sternocleidomastoid or just sternomastoid. It has a medial head which is called the sternal head. You can see that the orange arrow on the bottom shows the sternal head getting inserted into the sternum and next let's identify the clavicular head of the muscle sternomastoid and it is indicated by the red arrow which is shown in the bottom you can see that it is positioned lateral centrally you can see the blue structure which is actually the internal jugular vein an internal jugular vein, as you all know, is the vein which is continuous with the superior vena cava and hence the right atrium, whereas the external jugular vein takes a course through the subclavian vein. Therefore, it doesn't actually directly reflect the pressures in the right atrium. Now, having identified the sternal head and the clavicular head of the muscle sternomastoid, let's define the triangle. The base of the triangle is formed by the clavicle. The medial part of the triangle or the left side of the triangle uh, in this patient is formed by the sternal head. The lateral part of the triangle or the right side of the triangle is formed by the clavicular head. And you can see the yellow arrow indicating the peak of the or the uppermost point of the triangle. So inside this triangle, you can visualize the internal jugular vein. So in a patient who is positioned at 45 degree and neck being slightly turned to the left, not to the extent shown in the diagram, but a little bit lesser. The line which is seen on the, the clinical diagram, which is shown on the right, you can see a slight blue line, the, which indicates the path of the internal jugular vein. So when you position the individual, first you will see this triangular part where the pulsation may be seen. And when the pulsation goes above this yellow arrow, then you will appreciate the transmitted pulsation of the internal jugular vein through the muscle sternomastoid. As you can see there, the external jugular vein, which is marked in the diagram on the right side, is more superficial, but it is not reliable to appreciate the waveforms in this particular vein due to reasons which I have already explained. Do view the topic on clinical aspects of uh, JVP to translate the knowledge you have gained on the anatomical aspect for proper understanding and application at the bedside.